Hey guys, Augie Sanchez coming here with some Lost Ark and it's been it's been crazy these last two days. I'll let you guys know the launch of Lost Ark, well the, the Founders Edition, the early launch access. This has been nine years in the making for me. I saw the first trailer come out for this game nine years ago in 2013 it was and I was hooked ever since because at that time, in that time period 2013, I was like so into Diablo and we knew nothing about this game and like it just looked like the next biggest Diablo thing that was going to come out, you know what I mean? Like D3 was out and we were playing D3 at the time, we were going ham on D3. And this just looked amazing. I seen the Soul Fist or the Strike or whatever do that move where it jumped up and then like Dragon Fisted into the ground. And I seen that big trailer with the Dragon. It's actually in this video that I'm recording right now in the background, you guys will see it. When I saw that Dragon for the first time, and yeah, I just freaked the frick out. Like I nerd rage so crazy and like... It was crazy for me. These last two days have been amazing. And I can't wait to get stuck into Lost Ark really hard and bring you guys content and just show you my passion for this game that I've had for so long that I've never been able to play it because my internet would definitely not allow me to play on like the Russian or the Korean server because of like ping and stuff like that. But now that's finally over here by us, I can play it and I have been playing it. And this is my impressions on Lost Ark in the last two days of early access for founders. So when I first started it up, it took about an hour, hour and a half for us actually to get in because the, the Steam would not start unpacking or like registering the game for some reason. Well, for some reason there was 1.2 million people watching it on Twitch. And there was probably at least half of that trying to log into it. So the, the lot, but for, for an early release for one and a half hours or what, say about one hour and then it started after that hour, then it started opening up and we could actually get in. It only took me like five minutes to verify and to install it all. Because I had an I have an NVMe drive, but anyway, it was quick. I just needed to make that initial connection to the server. But an hour for such a huge launch on such a crazy day for me, that's great. I mean, Final Fantasy when that first came out, the whole first week pretty much there was issues with even trying to log in and everything. Like other than the first hour that I had to wait and on launch for it to verify, I've had to wait never before, and I haven't never DC. Oh, actually, I DC'd once or twice maybe. But I think that's more my connection than Lost Ark, really. I've been playing with a friend as well, and he hasn't DC'd at all yet. But uh, yeah, we've been going crazy, and it's really good, the launch. The launch is pretty stable. If I mean, if that one hour is it, that's a lot better than a lot of other MMO. No, no Raban Savage over here. Or no login boss, but uh, yeah. So, got off to a really good start. I actually was going to play... I was a little bit torn about what I was going to play at the start. Either Gunslinger, Sorceress, or... Artillerist, I think, was the other option. Oh no, Shadow Hunter, but I'm not really into melee. And then I actually ended up playing Bard, and I it grew on me, like it grew on me more, because I thought, well, everyone's going to need the support, especially for the new game, since there's a lot of new audience coming to it, the Western uh, audience, and nobody's going to know what to do. And Bard's just going to be like S tier. They are S tier already, so in a new learning and stuff like that, I mean, I don't mind supporting, but I do like doing a lot of damage. I was worried that I might not be able to do enough damage solo for like farming stuff. And uh, so I'm gonna try out a gunstinger and a sorceress pretty soon. I did boost up my sorceress pretty soon. There'll be a video up about that, how to boost and all that kind of stuff soon. You do get two free boosts once you get to level 50 on your main character. Well, not once you do, but the prereq is to get to 50 on your main character and then do all the story up to a certain point and then use it. And then on your second character, you'll get another one in the mail. So yeah, you just have to get to level 50 and do do a story up to a point but i'll make a video a separate video about that for you guys this is my just in first impressions and everything and honestly i can't be more like happy with how it turned out and i'm super psyched and expect a lot of a lot of lost Ark content this might even just overtake my i think it's my my focus on my channel is going to be lost Ark for the foreseeable future so we'll still do some final fantasy on the side but for now I'm going so hard into Lost Ark. I already have my bar to 50. Uh, it's about gear score close to 400 or something like that. I was pretty slow on that because the first day, right? So I got in. I played up until about level 20 or so. Just pretty casually going through everything. All the side quests and all that kind of stuff. Just to see it all and get all the free materials and uh, resources and all that stuff while leveling up. I know the fastest way to do it is to just skip side quests and just go straight for it. But I want to never see it. You know, I'm excited. This game, I've been waiting for this game for nine years. I want to take my time and just casually take my time while still going fast. I mean, I got to level 50 in about 20 hours, so quite a bit longer than most. But 
well most than a power like running speed running through and you can do it in about nine ten hours if you just do msq and just straight up follow that but anyway when i try to get in um i got to about level 20 and then my internet just died like it just i had to go right on final fantasy for about two hours i logged off of uh last arc 20 minutes before right just to go prepare for some raid on final fantasy real quick and no internet the internet just would not let me in we tried over and over and over i spent about half an hour to 40 minutes trying to just connect and then after that it didn't work so we gave up and they carried on and they just plugged it and and then i tried to hop back on lost arc to see you know can something can i at least do something nope lost arc i couldn't log on either either nothing the internet was just dead so i went to bed got up at 5 a.m uh this is on wednesday morning Wednesday morning I got up at 5 and I played all the way through until 10 o'clock at night and then I had to raid on Final Fantasy a little bit with some friends and that again. But um, yeah, so I spent the whole... I played for at least 20 hours pretty much on, on Wednesday because I stayed up until about 4 or 5 in the morning. So what's that? 20, that? Technically 24 hours I stayed up on Wednesday to play Lost Ark and about an hour of that was Final Fantasy. We just had a quick little one and, and then a little bit of look at two with the uh, FC Made of Ales and yeah so amazing launch i'm really psyched i'm really hyped and i i am like ecstatic when i seen that boss i freaked out man it was amazing but uh yeah bard bard's looking to be i think i'm gonna stick with bard i made a sorceress as well i boosted it and it's fun i really like it it's good damage and everything but i feel like sorceress is kind of flavor of the month right now so there's gonna be a lot of them so maybe I'll stick to my bird and then I also what I did is I did the first little guardian raid thing on my sorceress and the first two groups I had was just wipe city all the time but the first time I did my bird I was chucking up shields and everyone giving everyone damage buffs and like there was nobody died we all got really low but nobody died and we just nuked that boss so I mean that was an indication for me just play what I'm good at play bird and also the very first chaos dungeon I ran on my bird I got MVP for most damage. I was running a DPS build. I wasn't using a support build right then. Because, I mean, it's a Chaos Dungeon. Just freaking kill everything that spawns. And I got MVP. I was like, well, I think Bard's the one for me, eh? So, I'm going to do it on Bard. I think I'm going to be maining Bard. And then Sorceress and Gunsling are going to be my ults. Most definitely with Artillerists following behind that. But I'll just do Sorceress and Gunsling as my ults for now. Because I can boost them up for free. Just so that I can focus on 50 stuff and not have to level again right now. And also the life skills. Do not ignore the life skills while you're leveling up. Um, because you unlock your stronghold pretty soon at like level 28 or so. I'm going to put a video up about the stronghold as well. And that pretty much, that's a count bound. So uh, like roster bound. So it's not like, wow, strongholds where you have to do one per character or something like that. It's for your whole account. So it's great. And you get a lot of stuff from there. And apparently you, you use it a lot in the end game from all the videos and stuff I've seen before. So do that. Uh, get your strongholds up and then just go ham but uh yeah play it how you want to play it love it how you want to love it i mean there's something for everyone in this game it just it's amazing i can't give it enough praise and i haven't even finished it i got to 50 now and i've started up the gearing process and i still there's so many unexplained things for me the card decks the engravings the inscri uh, what's it the, uh, the inscription -y thing the crystal -y thing like there's so many things that i'm not doing on my character yet for damage and all that kind of stuff like the optimization is just insane and the ruins with the skills and that's that's crazy this part right here this is when i this is another part that happened in the trailer and i was starting to freak out going down the elevator like that but yeah the the what do you call it the, the customization of the character or the optimization i should say is insane i i can't remember that the last time i played a game for this long for like more than five hours at once was literally the first time i played final fantasy and that was five five years ago five six years ago yeah so that shows you the last the last game I, that hooked me in as much as this hooked me in was final fantasy and uh yeah so that's really good if you if you were on the fence about giving lost ark a try that's right tomorrow it's free lost ark is free for everyone worldwide uh, you don't need Founder Spec to get in tomorrow. I think 2 p.m. my time. I'm in South America right now, so South America time, 2 p.m. But you can look it up on the internet, whatever time it's on. Just, you just look up launch launch date or Lost Ark tomorrow. And yeah, anyway, if you are on the fence, definitely give it a shot. 
I tell you, there's something for everyone in here. If you're not a really big grinder, that's okay. You don't have to be. There's a lot of easy stuff that you can... Well, not easy, but like less grinding. You can chill and you can... For example, there's a system that builds up if you don't do dungeons every day. Because you get a daily reset for Chaos Dungeons and stuff like that. And every day it builds up like a rest bonus. I think up to five days maximum. So when that builds up, the next time you do it, you get more loot. So if you miss a, uh, miss a daily run for today or tomorrow builds up or like if you just can't make it for the whole week then you come back and you got five and you blow them really out don't let them stack to five if you care about like capping and keeping up to date on all that kind of stuff try and not cap out at five but yeah so just try and remember to log on within five days if you if you just don't have time or whatever but uh yeah like i said it's pretty casual there's the there's the stronger old stuff there's the life skills or life skills i don't know what they're called in this game but um the craft the gathering stuff is there's uh, wood cutting wood botany i would assume it's called mining fishing those three are probably three that i'm gonna try and do and then hunting i might do a little bit on the side but archaeology i don't know archaeology just doesn't ring it for me i do not like it but maybe if you have to do it later on or not if you have to because you don't have to do anything it's all up to you what you want to do but I think uh, some of them with collectibles or something, you might be able to get collectibles. I'm not sure how to do that yet, but I've heard about doing collectibles for skill point potions, where you can actually get skill points to make your character. Because how the skills work in Lost Ark is you level them up, up to a max level of 12. And um, when you level them up, you get like these tripods, it's these little skills sub, or what do you want to call it? Like a spec, I guess? I don't even know what to call it, but it gives their gives your effect so your ability it gives them effects and there's like a row with three different options at the top then there's another row once you level up enough with three different options and then at the bottom there's a row with normally two options but all of those like the options for example is the first one could be when the skill hits an enemy you deal six percent more damage to it or something or one that i've got a lot of my butt is uh when the skill hits somebody leaves behind residual so it like leaves behind an aoe and it keeps ticking on the first line and then the second line would like make it increase how much uh, bard gauge i build up for my ultimate move and then the third line for example could like increase its damage or increase its duration or something i guess just like little things that change and those skill points you get while leveling up you get five every level i'm pretty sure so i think once you get to 50 i had about a 263 or something like that somewhere around there but uh, yeah those potions will boost up your skill points so you could actually level up some more skills to max because you can only have eight skills up at once but um i do not have enough skill points now to have them all at level 10 i think i have six or seven skills at level 10 and that's the max not 12 because you know numbers but yeah level 10 uh, i think you need 12 points to get it to 10 something like that i knew there was a 12 in there somewhere but anyway so my first impression guys amazing definitely worth your time at least just to give it a shot i mean it's free you got nothing to lose try it out it's free you might find the best game for you for the foreseeable future this is going to be mine i made a guild as well we're over on the uh, the west the western east server what the frick i can't even english right now i'm so excited the north american east server guitar i think it is something with a k i'll have to look that up i'll have it in the on the video on screen right now when i go look it up and stuff and you can see it yeah i think it was guitar so if you want to join the guild or you just want to come on over to the same server and chill out and hang out and level up and do raids and whatever i'll be over there waiting and i'll be going ham i will love to see the support from all of you guys smash that subscribe button and like so we can get this out and get people into lost ark and for the for the next coming like forever i see myself doing lost ark lost ark lost ark i have so many video ideas already lined up just just for my leveling process, 1 to 50 little things that I could help you guys out that I wish I knew before starting, kind of. And the leveling and also the, um, what do you call this, the gathering stuff. There's so much little things that just I feel like everybody needs to know that going into it. Just to help you guys out. You know, I'm here to help, I'm here to play, and here to have fun. So thank you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, say now.